Let us bow for a word of prayer. Eternal God, we bless you for this day. Thank you for allowing us to see another Christmas. As we go into your word today, open our hearts and minds once again to hear what you're saying to us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Open your Bibles to the Gospel of Luke, chapter number 13. Luke chapter 13, and we will begin reading at verse number 10. Luke 13, beginning at verse 10. Now he was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath, and behold, there was a woman who had a spirit of infirmity 18 years and was bent over and could in no way raise herself up. But when Jesus saw her, he called her to him and said to her, Woman, you are loosed from your infirmity. And he laid his hands on her and immediately she was made straight and glorified God. I want to speak from the subject today, let the Lord straighten up your mess. Let the Lord straighten up your mess. This has been a trying year. 2020 has been an unusual year. And maybe today you are feeling that You've gone this far, you're at the threshold of a new year, and you don't know how you're going to get through 2021 if the Lord allows you to. But I want to encourage someone today, I want to let you know that no matter how you are feeling, no matter what you have gone through in 2020, God can take you through whatever it is, whatever it has been, and whatever will come our way. In this text, Luke chapter 13, on the Sabbath day, Jesus was teaching in one of the synagogues. And while Jesus is teaching, there's a woman there who has an Infirmity. The Bible says she had an infirmity for 18 years. What, what's the infirmity? Scripture says that she was bent over and could in no way raise herself up. Can you imagine having a sickness for 18 years? Can you imagine being the picture of health one day, gone to bed, everything is wonderful, and you wake up, and all of a sudden you can't bend yourself up, you can't straighten yourself up, you are bent over to the point where you cannot even help your own self. But I like this woman because no matter what she was dealing with, she knew that there was power in the Word of God. This woman who had this infirmity 18 years, she understood that's power in God's word. And if I could get to the house of God, I believe that I will be made whole. She's in the synagogue. She's in the synagogue, not really knowing what would happen that day. But she went into the synagogue trusting and believing that the God she served was an able God. And the God she served could make a difference in her condition. So she's there, and I love this because she did not let where she was stop her from getting into the presence of the Lord. I'm often amazed at the number of people who stay away from church. They stay away from the house of God when things are not going well in their lives. That's the very time you need to be in God's presence. Whenever life throws you a curveball, whenever life gives you sour lemons, it is at that point where you need to get in the presence of God. This woman is in the synagogue and unbeknown to her, Jesus, the Son of God, is there teaching. Maybe this is how you're feeling today. 
perhaps throughout this last 10 months, your life is bent, your spirit is bent, your relationships are bent, your finances are bent, and, and you are wondering how long will it be before the Lord intercedes on my behalf? Well, the good news is this. You may be bent, but you're not broken. The good news is this. You may be bent, but I guarantee that the God we serve is about to straighten you up. There are three things I want to share with you when you realize you may be in a mess, but God specializes in cleaning up messes. God specializes in straightening out messes. There are three things you need to see. Number one, while Jesus was teaching in the synagogue, number one, the Lord saw her. He saw this woman with an infirmity. Look at verse 12. But when Jesus saw her, Jesus strategically identified this woman. Out of all the people who were in the synagogue listening to the words of our Lord, Jesus looks around and he sees this woman who had an infirmity for 18 years. Some scholars say she was suffering from a case of severe arthritis. We don't know that. Some say she was dealing with osteoporosis. We don't know that. But we do know in verse 16 says, Jesus said the reason for her infirmity was that Satan had her bound for 18 years. Maybe that's your struggle. Maybe Satan has you bound and maybe he's trying to keep you out of a assured relationship with Jesus. Let, let me say this. Satan cannot pull you out of the hands of Jesus, but he will oppress you and he will get you in a place where you think God is not in your life. But God says, or Jesus says in verse 16, that Satan has this woman bound for 16 years and she deserved to be delivered. And no matter where you are, no matter who you are, no matter what you are facing, you deserve to be loose from the bondage of the enemy. And Jesus sees this woman. Listen, whatever you're dealing with today, the Lord sees you. Whatever you have dealt with in 2020, the Lord sees you and the Lord wants to make things right in your life. The Lord sees you and the Lord desires to make you whole. Jesus sees her. He sees her. He saw her and he sees you. He sees you right where you are. The Hebrew writer said we do not have a high priest who cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities. The Lord is totally aware of what you are going through and the Lord will get you through it. Has the Lord seen you? Are you sure whenever you are in the presence of God that he sees you? Are you sure that when you call upon the name of the Lord, he hears you? That's the, that's the assurance you need to have in Jesus. Jesus looks across the synagogue and he sees this woman. But that's the second point. Not only does he see her, but he summons her. Go back to verse 12. But when Jesus saw her, he called her to him. He called her to him. The Lord is calling you right now. The Lord knows if you are standing in the fringes of life. The Lord knows if you are marginalized and disenfranchised. The Lord knows your condition. But he not only sees you, but he calls you. He summons you not to go anywhere other than unto 
himself. He called her to him. He called her to himself. Listen, you may be looking for God in the dramatic and in the loud noise all around you, but every now and then the Lord will call you and he will speak to you in a still, small voice. He called her to him. Are you allowing yourself to hear the voice of the Lord? Or, or better than that, do you recognize the voice of the Lord? He called her and he's calling you. And God specializes in calling his children. The Bible says many are called, but few are chosen. He called her to himself. And then he says to her, Woman, you are loosed from your infirmity. The Lord will loose you. The Lord will set you free. The Lord will unshackle you from the burdens of the enemy. Listen, we are excited about this vaccination of COVID-19. We're excited. But let me tell you something. Don't wait until you get the vaccine before you can praise God. Don't wait until you know that the coronavirus has ended before you can praise God. We have to learn to praise God in the midst of our storms. We've got to learn to praise God in the midst of our mess. And maybe you are totally enamored in a mess. 2020 has been one mess after another mess. You get out of one mess, you find yourself back in another mess. But I want to tell you something. You're about to get loose. God is going to break some things in your life. God is going to break the bondage of the enemy off of you. God is going to set you free by the power of the Holy Spirit. That's why the word says the anointing of God breaks every yoke. Jesus saw her he summoned her, but thirdly, Jesus straightened her up. Look at verse 13. And he laid his hands on her. He laid his hands on her. Jesus desires to touch you. Why, why do we often fight the power of God through the Holy Spirit. The Lord wants to touch you and I by his Holy Spirit. Jesus laid his hands on her. But look what happens. Whenever the Lord touches you, a change is going to happen. Jesus laid hands on her and immediately, immediately she was made straight. Jesus didn't tell her as he did in verse 12, you're loose, go home, take two aspirin, and I'll check on you in the morning. Jesus didn't tell her, woman, thou art loose, and uh, just give me uh, an offering, and I'm going to give you a prayer cloth, and you rub the prayer cloth on you for five days, and, and then on the seventh day, come back, and we'll see the results. No, when Jesus gets involved in your mess, when Jesus gets involved in your life, he will straighten up your mess immediately. That's, that's somebody's word today, that God is going to straighten up your mess right now. You don't have to wait until 2021 to get your life together. You don't have to wait until 2021 for, to walk away from your mess. But when you go to the Lord and trust in the Lord and believe in the power of God, God will straighten up your mess immediately. Look at this story. This woman was bent over and could in no way raise herself up and she had been so low for so long but she didn't take her eyes off of the Lord. She knew I'm messed up in my body physically but I'm not messed up in my spirit. If I can get to where Jesus is, everything is going to be all right, and Jesus lays hands on her, and she straightened up immediately. She went from bent over to straight 
And I know she was so excited because whenever God touches you and whenever God makes a difference in your life, we should have a response whenever God straightens us up. And whenever God straightens us out, we have to have a response. So what is the response of this woman in this text? Go back to verse 13. And she glorified God. She glorified God. Listen, whenever God changes you or changes your situation, whenever he changes your life, whenever the doctor gives you a good praise report, your response is to give God some glory. Before the end of this year, before December 31st, you are to give God praise for what he's done in 2020, and you are to give God praise for what he's going to do in 2021. If he allows us by his will to see a new year, we should start our new year thanking God for straightening up our mess. Now listen, I know that some of you believers, you can testify that the Lord has already straightened up your mess. You can testify that the Lord is able to clean you up and straighten you up and put you in the place where you need to be. He will straighten up your private mess He'll straighten up your personal mess. God will straighten up your family mess. God will straighten up your business mess. God will straighten up your financial mess. If the Lord is willing and we go into a new year, let me say this to you. Don't enter 2021 carrying the negative baggage of 2020. Don't enter a new year and you're still holding on to the same old mess that you held on to in 2020. The Lord said to this woman, woman, you are loose. He's saying to you today that you are loose. That's why he's touching us. He's laying hands on us. He's making us new. All we have to do is get into the presence of of the Lord and I promise you God will see you God will summons you and God will straighten you up and when he straightens you up he will straighten you up immediately and what we need to do is give the Lord some praise all I'm trying to say is something very simple we have Come this far by faith. Oh, you may say, I, I, I know I still have some challenges. Yes, everybody have challenges. But guess what? You may not be what you want to be, but if God's hand is on you, you're not what you used to be. You are a new creature in Christ. And God has straightened up your mess. How did he do that? You have to give him thanks and give him praise for the blood of Jesus. The songwriter asked the question, what can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me hold again? Nothing but the blood of Oh, Jesus, oh, precious is thy flow that makes me white as snow. No other help I know, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Let the Lord straighten up your mess. Let us bow for a word of prayer. And as I pray today, if you are not a Christian, if you are not saved, if you have not 
ask Jesus Christ into your life, you can bow right where you are and repeat this prayer. Lord God, I'm a sinner and I'm in need of a savior. Lord, I'm tired of trying to fix the messes that I've made in my life, but I'm gonna let the Lord straighten up my mess. I believe in my heart that Jesus Christ is your son. I believe that you have raised him from the dead. And I believe that I am now saved by the blood of Jesus. Thank you, God, for a new life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you've asked God into your life, you are saved. You can join our church virtually. Just go to our website, newcovenantbcsa.org, and go to our guest tab and request membership, and I'll be so happy to call you and welcome you to the New Covenant Church. God bless you as we leave today. We look forward to a new year as God will take us to another level. Amen.